Hello and welcome to uh, another GED Express screencast here at Phuket Palace with me, Teacher Marco. So today uh, we will focus on GED RLA or Reasoning Through Language Arts and we will talk about text structures. Um, these types of questions are or questions that are focused on text structures are um, usually found on the reading parts of the GED RLA. So you will be asked to read a certain passage and uh, you will have to identify what text structure was used by the writer. So let's begin. So let's first talk about structure. So uh, when it comes to buildings, of course, structures are considered as the framework. Um, that's the reason why building stands, because of the framework or the skeleton of the building. So uh, that's where we see the term structure. But when we're talking about text, of course, it has a similarity. Uh, a text wouldn't work if there's no structure. Uh, so the text structure refers to how a piece of text is built and organized. Okay, and of course, there are a lot of text structure patterns that are being used by writers. But today we'll focus with one. And the importance of text structure is, is that um, it also adds to the style of the writer. So writer, uh, writers use different structures to build their ideas and also to show their purpose. And each structure or each text structure communicates ideas in a different way. So it somehow affects the tone of the text and we'll talk about tone later on. Um, so let's start with compare and contrast structure. So compare and contrast structure is commonly used when there are two objects or two things uh, that the writer is discussing in the passage. And the writer wants to show similarities, and that's what we mean by the term compare. And um, the writer also wants to show the differences, and that's where contrast enters. So there are a lot of key words that you will notice or uh, clue words, shall we say, that you will see um, in a passage that utilizes compare and contrast structure. So some of the uh, some of these words are both. So when you're uh, somehow discussing the similarities of the two objects, so you use both, but to show contrast, a difference while on the other hand, of course, these are not the only words that you will see. You will see a lot. It depends on the length of the text and uh, the vocabularies that uh, vocabulary that uh, the writer is using. Okay, so of course, to make things easier. Um, Sometimes writers use what we call as graphic organizers, or even readers can utilize this graphic organizers. Okay, so this is what you call as a Venn diagram. So as you can see in the picture, we have a goldfinch and a cardinal bird. Okay, so sometimes writers try to organize of the information before they write by using a, a graphic organizer or this Venn diagram. Um, now, if you are asking if it's, if in the GED RLA test you will be asked to compare and contrast, 
there might be some questions that you will be asked to identify what uh, or how the writer compared or how the writer showed contrast in the text. So I suggested you uh, use this particular graphic organizer. So you will be given an erasable notepad and it's so easy to draw two interlapping spheres. So it's easy. You show the difference on the two outer parts of the circle while the middle part you show the similarities. So the difference is outside and the similarities in the middle. Simple as that. So let's take a look at an example. So let's take a look at this sample paragraph. The cardinal and the goldfinch are two common birds. Both are brightly colored. Both are common at bird feeders. Both are common at bird feeders. But the birds have some differences. The male cardinal is bright red, while the goldfinch, a male goldfinch, is yellow. Cardinals like shrubs and trees, while goldfinches prefer open meadows. As you can see, um, the highlighted words are the clue words, and these are our signals um, uh, to know that this is a particular um, text that utilizes compare and contrast structure. So simple as that. So I hope that I was able to help you with this very simple lesson today. And watch out for more. Uh, I will go through this series and I will discuss all the text structures in, uh, that are commonly seen on your GED RLA test. Thank you for listening today. And again, this is Teacher Marco. If you want to know more about us, please do check out our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Phuket Pals. Or you can also check our website, phuketpals.org. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye.